In 1888, the Sisters of Charity of St. Hyacinth established the Sisters Hospital, known today as St. Mary's Health System. Today, St. Mary's is one of the only hospitals in Central Maine offering inpatient behavioral health services, and the only hospital to specialize in the treatment of psychiatric illness in patients with chemical dependency. In addition, our chemical dependency program, psychiatric day programs, and intensive outpatient programs allow for smooth transition while patients are still undergoing treatment. Unfortunately, these services are delivered from the oldest buildings on our campus, and the setting does not meet optimal standards for successful treatment. The facility felt a little older. Um, I did have a roommate. Um, and again, I think anybody in the situation of coming on us or coming off of a severe mental breakdown or, or in the midst of a severe mental breakdown like I had, um, kind of going into a room with a person you don't know who is also struggling with mental health issues was a little scary for me. When you're with a roommate that you can't trust or feel safe with or, or somebody who's making a lot of noise, um, you're, you're not... You're not recovering. You're you're complicating your recovery, and um, I hear that the new facility is going to have single rooms, and I think that would be a great benefit. Um, I know it would certainly help me, and I know it'll help a lot of other people. If you're medically ill and you need a special bed and you need a special bathroom, you need oxygen at all times. If you don't have those, it's really hard to treat a, a complex medical case. I think if we have a psychiatric facility built to modern medical standards, we can take a vast variety of patients that almost nobody else in the state is taking. I'm very excited that we are dedicating a new facility to our um, oncology as well, our, as well as our infusion patients. The new place we're hoping designed in a way to um, uh, make more convenient for the patient and especially they don't have to travel past the hospital, uh, cover many areas because they are immunocompromised. We wanted to limit the infection they can get during the travel time. Treatments here at St. Mary's has been really wonderful. The challenges are the parking. It's very, you know, a long walk from the parking lot to the building. And I got pretty weak on the chemo. I had aggressive chemotherapy. So, and when the weather wasn't good, it, it just was a challenge. And then my immune system was very compromised. We also wanted to shorten the waiting time so they can go home early instead of spend a long day uh, waiting in the infusion center. I know from my experience here and getting cancer treatments, attitude is very, very important in, he in the healing process. And what room you're in and how the environment looks has a lot to do with that. And I know from what I've seen, being able to have a, a really nice, attractive environment, a comfortable environment, a more home-like environment, is really going to make a difference for the patients, their families, and the staff. It'll be a much nicer environment for them to come to work to. I think if you or somebody that you care about has ever been affected by oncology, hematology, or any of those other specialties, um, by donating to the capital campaign and helping us to build this facility, it will really make a practical difference. You are literally helping us um, to help our patients that way. The future of St. Mary's will be incorporating the heritage and mission that stems from our foundress and the Sisters of Charity, looking out for those who are not always cared for, and providing them an innovative patient experience. In the words of St. Marguerite Duville, we shall continue to love and to serve, resonate with every employee, every provider, every volunteer, every board member, and every donor. The legacy of the Sisters compels us to serve the poor, the needy, and the marginalized, to trust in a God who provides, even in the face of this country's changing healthcare delivery system, and to offer the most innovative patient and family experience we can. St. Mary's has been the beneficiary of this community's generosity for years. And once again, we invite you to join us in making an impact with care and compassion. This place has a soul. That's how I see it. You know, it's not just a service or consumer item that we offer. We offer ourselves. Without St. Mary's, I wouldn't be here right now. Thank you.
Thank you.